Chantel, I can hear you. I'm reporting live from Denver <laughs> Convention Center, where there are lots of people. What are the people doing? They're waiting to learn more about Linux administration in the Amazon cloud. Ooh. I have no smart questions to connect with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of smart people here. I was able to ask some very, very, very detailed questions about the server architecture for all pro web tools that <laughs> has been um, some things that we could improve to make things work a little faster. And nice. it's very, very, very technical. And I've had these questions for two years and I haven't known who to ask. And one of the key questions that I asked was, in the future when I have these questions, who can I ask? Yeah, I was going to ask. So, <laughs> happen enough that you can get help on a regular basis or? How many more times can we use the word ask in this conversation? I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> yes, they actually told me um, that I have a hotline that I can call and they'll spend hours and hours on the phone dedicated to helping me out. So, that's wow. why I'm really glad to be working with Amazon. Um, we, we tried working with two other um, cloud companies in the past and uh, it was just not good. The services went up and down constantly, which means all pro web tools goes up and down constantly. And mm -hmm. our clients rely on us to have reliable service. Yeah, that's, that's kind of important when you're trying to run the whole business off it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so here's the other cool thing that they did. They even fed us. I mean, what's better than being surrounded by computers and food, right? What's better than that? Did they feed you good food? Uh, I took pictures. <laughs> I will post those later. <laughs> yeah. Obviously you took pictures. They had, they had this standard, like, um, they had sandwiches, they had chicken sandwich, they had ham sandwich, and they had a roasted veggie sandwich, which was, looked pretty good. I'm currently watching my calories, so I was only able to have one sandwich today. Normally, I would have had three or four. Right. But you're doing a Dave experiment, so yeah. <laughs> did I tell you one time I uh, did an experiment where I ate only two Wendy's salads every day? for an entire 30 days. Did I ever tell you about that? I think you did. I'm not sure though. Yeah. I just wanted to see what would happen. I lost a lot. I lost like 15 pounds. Oh, wow. <laughs> in, in a month. That's probably not good. Dave is in Dave, uh, Dave Candyland over there or Disneyland or whatever. He's surrounded by computer geeks and, and learning things. And apparently they've even fed him. So he's just happy all around. <laughs> well, this is exciting. I know, it's fun. We've got, um, uh, Adam should be back. He's like rebooting because he's got low something. He's not, in, he's not loving computers today. He's not no. loving computers today. And then this is my uh, awesome friend and coworker, so Dave, who's in two different places. Oh, okay. Uh, Hi. So, um, cool. is at a computer, computer convention? Computer nerd right? convention. Computer nerd convention. That's and awesome. Yes. Everybody here talks in symbols and acronyms. <laughs> <laughs> and what's cool is everyone else understands what they're saying. Oh. Like, oh, when we look at him and ask him if he just had a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's uh, showing us around, giving us a little tour yeah. on his phone, and then we've got a. Uh, he's got his laptop, which is stationary over there. That's awesome. And then we've got the lovely Amanda, who's uh, walking all over the place. I don't know where all you're going. Yeah. It looks like I'm going to sit. You're going <laughs> to sit? Okay. Well, hey, you can keep walking. You know? <laughs> Although, um, turn your cell phone so we can uh, see you a little better, if you don't mind. 90 degrees. There you go. Is that good? I, I can only stay on for about half an hour, Chantel. I hope that's okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. This is a 45 minute meeting. We don't oh, okay. do the hour meetings. So, yeah, so you'll be yeah. on for almost because all of it. Because we're yeah. all busy small business owners. We don't have an hour to spare. We are. That's true. There you go. Good job. Hey, Gina. Hey, guys. Nice I got to say, 
I'm really impressed with how the Zoom app works on phones. Yeah, it's not half yeah. bad. That is impressive. Yeah, once you kind of figure it out, it works. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, once you get over just the, what in the world is happening, uh, it goes pretty well. <laughs> Well, I'm getting on my Chromebook. It doesn't work on a Chromebook at all. No. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're going to fiddle with that one of these days. Because you can't download anything to a Chromebook. It won't, you know, um, it can access mm -hmm. wherever you want to go, but it just can't bring anything in. So, mm. yeah, mm -hmm. kind of yeah. stuck. You know. <clears throat> well, Santel, what time is it right now? Since I'm using uh, my phone, I don't know. It is. Depends on where you are. <laughs> Apparently, Destiny is joining us from yet a different networking event. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Really cool. You should, like, introduce us as a team to the networking people. And that I'm, way I'm walking in there to do that very thing. Nice. I feel like Destiny travels with a whole posse on her phone. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was like, here, meet my peeps, everybody. <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool. And then we got Vicky and uh, it's Stefan, right? Yeah, Stefan. Okay. Sorry, like the, the name at the bottom of your thing was Gapia, and I was totally confused for half a second. Uh, first initial last name. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, hi, everybody. Welcome to Virtual Networking, where uh, we get to. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll talk to each other from all corners of the uh, of the place. And in Colorado, it is snowy and outside, so we don't have to travel to get the extra people, which is great. <laughs> so all kinds of fun. And um, as always, so we're going to be uh, recording this and putting it on YouTube. So anything that you would like to have in um, have us feature in the chat area put add before that in the chat before you send it to everybody and that way it's a good way to put kind of who you are and your um, contact information out there <coughs> and then of course it lets us put that there on your YouTube um, videos <coughs> leader can see it too all right cool and then let's have you guys uh, go ahead and chat in and let me know who you are and where you're joining us from. And then I'll start calling on you for awesome uh, introductions. <laughs> and since Gina, since you are on your cell and it is really hard for you to chat in, <laughs> um, let's go ahead and have you do yours first. And if you can turn your phone, since yours won't um, shift, just go ahead and turn it back the other way so we're not all sideways for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't have it on that little shifty thing, but yeah. Is that okay? We'll you guys seem that one of these days. Okay. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Gina calling from calling in from California where the sun is out today for about the first time in I don't know how many weeks. That's probably not a not a thing for a lot of you, but it's been raining for weeks and weeks, which is okay. No one's complaining because we needed it. Um, but I'm an independent bookkeeper. Um, I've got bunches of clients um, out here in the Bay Area. Um, I'm in the San Francisco Bay Area. And also about half of my client base um, is on Xero, which is cloud-based accounting software, um, which allows me to work for people that I don't need to see, um, and in some cases have never even met. So um, it's kind of the way of the future, I think, um, where everything can be done remotely, done way, way, way faster and more efficiently. So I'm excited about that. I'm a certified um, bookkeeper on the Zero website. So um, any of you guys are interested, I, I'd encourage you to check it out at zero.com. It's xero.com. Thank you for that. Yep. And then Destiny, you, I was going to have you talk next anyway, since you got to go pretty quick. And she was also the first one to like chat in, which is impressive, especially considering you're on a cell. All right. So Destiny, let's hear from you. What are you doing? So hi, everybody. This is Coach Destiny. Hopefully you can hear me. That's a bunch of people at the networking event that I'm at. Um, we had 1,100 people show up for Women Gives. It's a fundraiser. Um, but a little bit about my business. I am a coach that helps people get through their blocks 
and anything stopping them from growing their business and having a really great work life balance. Um, that also includes fears. So I help people do it easily, effortlessly, and with a heck of a lot of fun. Destiny does everything with a heck of a lot of fun. Yeah, I agree <laughs> yeah. with that. Do, do I win this week, Chantel? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Wait, that depends, Desi. Where, what city is she in? Oh, she's... She's on mute. Oops. You're on mute, Destiny. I met the uh, NBC Suites in Loveland. So yeah, you you I think you win, Dave. I'm in Denver. Denver. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For those of you who have just joined us, we do uh, um, kind of weirdest place you're joining us from. So last uh, last week I was sick and in bed, and so I won, even though I didn't go anywhere, which was pretty great. So. <laughs> yeah, you definitely right. won last week. Everybody thought you were in like a movie theater because your your curtains behind you. <laughs> <It's were. weird. laughs> yep. All right, and Marilyn, let's hear from you. We're in Arkansas. Yep, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Marilyn Stafford. I am a virtual assistant. I own my own business um, here in Fayetteville, and I primarily provide client care services for online coaches and trainers. Um, I do have other clients, small businesses. And Gina, I know what you were talking about with um, bookkeeping and zero. One of my recent clients uh, has a virtual bookkeeping business, and so she does exactly what you're doing. She has a team of people that work with her. Awesome. But, um, yeah. So I, I, when you said zero, it's like, I know what that is. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I've had my business for seven years now, and um, so I do a lot of different things, newsletters and just different kinds of admin support, but primarily client care services. So this is my first time here. I was invited by Chantel. She and I kind of bumped into each other <laughs> virtually uh, several months ago, and we've talked and emailed and have never actually gotten to meet sort of in person. So this is cool. I like it. And Marilyn is crazy, insanely helpful. I called her with a problem, and she was like, <laughs> right up there with it. It was great. I like All to right. be helpful when I can. <laughs> awesome. And then Stephanie. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie O'Brien from Brandon, Manitoba. I'm a published author with four different books on Amazon and um, an artist. I've got my own web comic. I'm also a copywriter and marketing coach. I help um, entrepreneurs who don't have the time or interest in doing their own marketing to figure out what marketing materials they need and then I make those materials for them. Thank you, Stephanie. It's great. You're welcome. Um, Stephan. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, guys. First time here as well. I was invited by Chantel. Um, anyhow, I co-own a company called Elite Solutions. So what we do, we actually provide credit card payment processing to businesses. Um, and we also do all of the internet um, phone service, VoIP phone systems for business as well. So, uh, unique business. Um, we do both services. We are a master agent in the telecom industry, so we have access to all companies nationwide at wholesale pricing. So the prices we quote is the exact same as if you went to them directly. Um, one of the benefits we add is obviously giving our clients a non-biased opinion about what's best for their business. Um, and on the payment side in the credit card processing world, I've been doing that for 13 years now. So um, we've presented some great relationships there and clients the best pricing best service and really what we do is just save companies money that's kind of the bottom line of what we do hey, we're all fans of that right <laughs> yeah we all, we all need that <laughs> definitely all right and tim well um i think i'm speaking today do we still want to say something yeah yeah go for it hey uh, I'm Tim Washburn. Uh, you'll hear a little bit more about my, my new company later, Integrity Technologies. So I'll tell you uh, briefly about Computer Doctors, which is our retail and residential IT branch. So um, essentially, we're providing people with, uh, with refurbished business-grade machines that have a, uh, a lifespan of about seven to eight years. Um, and, you know, machines that last through their usable lifespan. So we're selling you high quality equipment at low prices when it just kind of works forever. So <laughs> forever and ever. Huh? <laughs> 
Speaking of computers, let's have Dave talk. <laughs> All right. Uh, the first thing I'd like to ask is, can we do our group photo? Is everybody ready to smile? Smile at the camera. Yeah. All right, got it. Cool. So I'm Dave from All Pro Web Tools. We have a software solution for small business owners to manage everything all in one place. Instead of having to load 10, 12 different applications and trying to share data between different places, you can do it all with one software solution. That's All Pro Web Tools. <laughs> I'm Chantel and what he said. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's see here. We've also got uh, Vicky. <laughs> Vicki, can you hear me, honey? I can. Can you hear okay. me? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Hi, I'm Vicki. I'm from Lakewood, Colorado, and I design wire art jewelry, one of a kind pieces. I've been doing it for four years now, so um, I do it out of my home. Uh, mostly on Facebook is where most of my items are showcased at. Thank you. And uh, Adam, since we've got you for half a second, can you hear us? Do you have a stable enough connection that you can tell us what you do? Nope. Uh, <laughs> Diana, let's hear from you. <laughs> Tim, I know somebody that needs help with their computer. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Am I unmuted? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, there you are. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't sure. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Diana. Um, I'm joining from, from, from Spain, <laughs> where I just arrived home. I'm still a bit. Um, <laughs> and uh, how to say it? Yeah, in a nutshell, I'm an aspiring virtual assistant for yeah. hopefully small business owners in, in a short period of time. Let's say two, three months. I hope I'll be able to, to start with that then. Great. Yeah, you and uh, Marilyn should actually talk if that's all right mm -hmm. with you, and I can get you guys uh, connected because right. the virtual <laughs> assistant has been for quite a while and is yeah. crazy darn busy doing so, so she must yeah, be doing okay. it right. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me started talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Go on and on. <laughs> that's how much I love it, so. Okay. Yeah. Great, great to know. Yep. <laughs> Adam. Yes, you. can you hear me now? <laughs> hey, this isn't a Verizon commercial. <laughs> yeah, I know. Rent, uh, rent. <laughs> so I'm Adam with Employer Essentials. Sorry for the trouble. My internet seems to be a little off today. So um, I do payroll staffing and HR for small businesses. So I heard earlier um, talking about uh, different bookkeeping and accounting systems. We love to work with partners in that area because um, a lot of what we do is redundant work that uh, they have to duplicate over and over again. And, and we have systems in place that can really support that. So we will look for those overburdened business owners with the monkey on their back. And we the monkey. get the monkey off their back. His name's Harris. And we get the monkey off your back. Hi, we Harris. Need <laughs> we need to all start yelling at Harris. Like Warm, you know, in, uh, in cheers. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, Amanda. <laughs> hey, guys. <clears throat> I'm an owner of Peaceful Valley Resort up in Lyons, Colorado, and I thought I would show you our conference room. All oh, right. Oh, cool. Ah, right. There's the ceiling. Uh, hold basically. on. Let's, we're going to make you the spotlight video so you take the full screen. Woo! All right. Go ahead. Do that again. So we have a full conference room that will feed up to 150 people, and I'm here setting up for our next event. That's awesome. We need Great. to have you present and like take us on a whole tour at some point here. <laughs> yes, you do. I know she's been dragging her feet, but we gotta do it, okay? Yeah. It's more of the internet connection deal. <laughs> we'll well and then you've got smaller conference rooms too, so I mean it's like it's really nice. Cool stuff. Well, keep, uh, did I miss anybody? Because I am known for doing that on occasion. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, you remember me today. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I even remember Dave. You know, Dave's so forgettable. <laughs> um, but like we said, it's, uh, as always, a participation event. So keep those chats going. Um, keep questions going in there. 
with that as Tim is talking to us about computers and um, also keep those ads kind of rolling through um, as we've got a couple of people that have put those in. All right, so the next up is Tim. Awesome. All righty, let's see. So um, I'm Tim Washburn as I introduced myself um, earlier. Uh, I, I opened a second company, which pretty much just separated our retail branch and our business branch uh, back in September. And that's what you'll be learning a little bit more about today, which is Integrity Technologies. So let me pull up a presentation. All right, All Pro Virtual Networking, where pants are optional. <laughs> as long as your screen covers the appropriate part of your body. Right. No full body shots. <laughs> All right. Just kidding. So, Integrity Technologies are the business IT and cloud solutions for small businesses. We eliminate frustration. People so, don't get frustrated with their computers. Never. Whoops. So, what do we do? That, that's a question. What do we do, people? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Make computers off. and technology yeah, that doesn't yeah. crap itself and die in two years? <laughs> turn it off oh. and turn it on again? <laughs> we eliminate frustration. That's what we do. So, um, so hey, Tim, you're, you have an application on the side of your screen that's covering everything so people oh, can't see man. your actual PowerPoint. There you hey, go. Hey, is that better? Yep. All right, perfect. So, uh, you know, who is uh, Integrity Technologies? So we're a local company, um, you know, we're plugged into the community. Um, as you can see in our first picture there, that's a picture of my boys at the Colorado Crush game, which is a local uh, professional football company. And so we're sponsored with them. They do a lot of things for the community. And so we manage all their IT. So, um, you know, so, you know, we're a global company, so you get local support. Um, so, you know, we're a small business taking care of small business. So, you know, when, when you say, I don't have money for that server, I don't have money for that service, we understand that. We're not a, you know, we're not a company that's going to come in and, and quote you $10,000 for a server that, you know, essentially is going to be, you know, enough to run the entire, you know, CSU campus up here. We, we understand budgets and we understand small business because we are small business. Um, you know, a little bit about me, um, you know, I'm a family man with family values and, uh, and just, you know, a quick story, which is kind of my, my mission uh, for opening my original company six and a half years ago. Um, you know, when I was 12 years old, uh, my grandma, who's living on social security, brought her machine into the local, comp the local computer company and they charge her 175 bucks to install a modem. So, you know, it's about, you know, $10 part. Um, and so, you know, since she is elderly, I, you know, I feel like they took advantage of her and that's, you know, really in line said, you know what, this is a passion of mine. I, you know, I want to help communities. I want to, be able, you know, help people out. Um, and so, um, you know, and so I kind of led me to, you know, where I'm at now. Um, you know, when I, uh, when I graduated from college, I had an offer for 62000 doing IT administration. Uh, just had to take the business route instead, um, you know, and uh, I definitely haven't turned back since, you know. Business is tough, but, you know, that's, uh, that's kind of the fun of it, too. So, um, so here's my boys when they turned one year old. Um, so... I have twin boys and then my wife that's a picture of her and I at our, our wedding and so we're expecting another little girl here in July so oh, super stoked with that. That's awesome. So what do we do? Anybody can answer that. What do we do? Manage Remove frustration. IT services. <laughs> Prevent frustration. We eliminate frustration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, two things that we're going to talk about today, um, you know, ways that we help eliminate frustration are with our managed IT services and our cloud backup. And so, 
we eliminate frustration by essentially managing and monitoring your issues before they turn into frustration. And so we use complex technologies to manage your entire IT network. And what, what does that actually mean to you? You know, realistically, you know, I, I love this picture. Yay, it works. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I think that's, uh, you know, what, what we really do best for our clients is we just make stuff work you know it doesn't have to be these complex systems where you have to know step one step two step three we just make it work and we implement simple systems that are usable uh, and the part two of what does that mean we give you buckets of cash by reducing your bottom line so buckets of cash is not guaranteed but you know it's uh it can definitely help so um, a little bit about our cloud backup. Um, so ransomware, um, for, for those of you who aren't aware of what ransomware is, um, you know, basically it's, it's a virus. It's a, it's a piece of software that's, you know, created in a malicious intent to take money. So, you know, it used to be, you know, back in the 80s and the 90s, people would say, why were there viruses? Why do people do this? Why do people create viruses to slow down your computer and, you know, wreak havoc on the world? And, you know, those times have kind of shifted to now. I mean, it's, it's a full-time job. The, uh, the first variants of ransomware, when they first came out, the creators of that virus were making $175,000 a week on this ransomware. And so what they're doing is they'd infect people's systems with viruses, they'd encrypt all of their data, and then they would say, hey, so if you want your data back, send us money. You send us, you know, wire us money, um, you know, via like Bitcoin or, you know, other, other um, you know, types of uh, payment, and we'll give you the other half of that decryption key and you can have your data back, but they're essentially holding your data ransom. And so that's you know, where they get the name ransomware. Um, so, you know, a, a few months ago, uh, a little story I'm going to tell you, um, we had a client, um, you know, they, uh, they built houses. And so they got ransomware on their machine. And, you know, immediately they, you know, saw these logs coming up and, you know, in every single folder saying, hey, we have your data ransom, and they were freaking out. They were like, okay, yeah, I mean, you know, our entire life is on this server. It's this data, you know, they have, uh, you know, everything from invoices to home plans to, uh, you know, pretty much what they worked for their entire life. And they, they, they're like, what, what do we do? You know, what, what do we do? And so I said, okay, you know, calm down. I will, you know, go ahead, check your backup. And luckily, you know, they did have a backup service already implemented with us. And so, you know, as they will check their backup and said, yep, we have your backup from last night. You're good to go. You don't have to pay this ransomware. You know, this uh, is $4,000 of ransomware to hopefully get your data back. Um, so, um, you know, and as you, you can see right here, uh, we have this little Western Digital, whoops, this Western Digital My Backup. Uh, I, I bet probably half of you guys have one of these portable uh, external hard drives. Tim, and you got uh, 90 seconds left. 90? Okay. Um, <laughs> so the other side of the story is, uh, you know, a lot of people will use these, these backup drives as, um, you know, as a backup, and they'll store all their data on that. The The bad side of this thing, the, the bad story is we get one to two of these things in every single week, and uh, about 25% of them we're unable to recover data on. So, um, you know, when you hit save, where does your data go? Does it just go to your laptop? What if you lose your laptop? Well, if it's stolen, what if something crashes? Um, you know, that's where, you know, having a cloud backup system is extremely important. And so, um, you know, a backup of some sort. So, uh, flexibility of the cloud, um, you know, I'll briefly go over this since we're running out of time, but you know, it allows you to work offsite. 
Um, it can actually eliminate the need for an office. We've had uh, many companies that we've been able to, uh, you know, they've been able to shut down their office and we're completely out of their home and mobile. Um, and I mean, we've lowered overhead by over $2,000 a month just by, um, you know, implementing a cloud system that makes them more efficient and reduces overhead. So, um, do we have any questions? I don't think we have a whole lot of time, but do we have questions? Awesome. Tom, do you work with people from remotely or is it strictly local? Yeah, absolutely. We actually have customers um, all up and down the East Coast. And um, and so, you know, we, we work with customers remotely. Obviously, we're not flying out there. Um, you know, we have a you know, client in Tennessee that, uh, that we were planning to fly out there if necessary. Um, and uh, so, yeah, we work, you know, that's our main way of working with people. It's more efficient that way so we don't have to deal with traffic. Do you um, deal mostly with um, businesses or are you kind of affordable for individuals who want their stuff securely backed up? Um, you know, I think affordable is relative. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so Integrity Technologies is designed for business IT solutions. Um, you know, we're not charging $150 an hour. We have our, you know, our managed IT services is, you know, built around small business. It's designed for, you know, lowering your, um, you know, your month to month costs. And uh, it, it's really designed to, uh, you know, so you don't have that $150 an hour pop when something breaks. It's an all inclusive sort of plan to, uh, you know, basically keep you, you know, get you taken care of when you need it, but basically maintain so you don't have to have us you know, working on site. Thank you so much, Tim. We appreciate it. If you guys still have questions for Tim, go ahead and shoot those over in the chat and Tim will answer those live for you right now. And I have to make a little announcement here. Being that I'm not at my desk, I made a mistake. And when I created the meeting code for this meeting, I didn't use our paid account. So it's going to kick us all off in exactly one minute and 16 <laughs> seconds. So when it does that, you can just reclick the link and join right back in again. And we'll make sure that doesn't happen next week. So we still have 60 seconds before we all get kicked off. What's, what are we going to uh, cover next? What do you do? Which means if you're going to chat, wait until you do it. Wait until the meeting restarts. Otherwise, the chat will just disappear and you'll have to do it again. Yes. Unless Tim is that fast. Definitely. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's something to keep in mind. And up next, we have our mastermind slash uh, Dave time. And uh, <laughs> so we're going to get to join Dave where he is on location at um, Nerdville. What I was thinking we could do is just talk about the virtual networking event itself and how we can improve it. Um, but also, you know, any success stories, anything that's been working. Uh, why is it something that you look forward to each week and just kind of have that conversation. Are there any thoughts on that? Well, I, I think it's definitely like even with today's stuff, it gives me good understanding of why I want to have closer relationships with these folks. Cause um, in my world, the ability to be useful is kind of fundamental to what I do. So having a person like Tim that I can say he's brilliant at fixing computers and networks and I can't tell you how to do it, but if that's the thing that's keeping you up at night, let me be useful. Um, so um, beyond that, I just think, um, I think like I mentioned before, some of these folks are coming back on. It'd be nice if we could post the notes or the chat log actually on the Facebook page so we can just see it that way. Um, Cause that'll help me to be accountable to the things that we talk about during the meeting for, for that. Okay. We'll go ahead and do that. Just but so it's everybody nice meeting such good people. Yeah. Um, we're really trying to uh, curate the group and make sure that we get people who have real businesses and, you know, are, are real small business owners and uh, also people who are going to be able to help, uh, nationwide as opposed to just in their in their general locality. That's kind of the the guiding mission of, of who we allow into the group. Are there any yeah. other thoughts? And like Destiny and I have chatted um, and and have some passed some business already back and nice. forth. So are there any other thoughts on the virtual networking group and uh, what we can do to improve it? 
other than have the meeting dump us halfway through. <laughs> uh, always an improvement. Oh yeah, always I had for you guys is, uh, have you heard of any other virtual networking groups? I've never heard of any. Uh, I've seen, I, got, uh, I got, had gotten cut off, so. Oh no. <laughs> is it, is there, what, what kind of strengths are you seeing for virtual networking over traditional networking? What's working for you in that respect? Um, definitely the convenience of not having to get up, drive somewhere, or leave my computer. And if I had to drive somewhere for it, I probably just wouldn't do it. You know, I, I feel this a little bit more engaged uh, with the virtual networking than what I've seen in traditional networking. Um, you know, I, that's one thing I've seen anyways. Yeah, I like how um, the engagement I think is great. This is the first time I've ever done kind of virtual networking. Um, I do a lot of networking person to person, and this is the first for me, and it's, it's actually pretty awesome. Engagement's a little bit higher. What state are you in, Stefan? Um, I'm actually in Utah, so just kind of Salt Lake City. Okay. Um, so, are there a lot of uh, traditional networking groups in that area that you go to? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Utah is kind of a mecca for networking and multi-level marketing. I mean, it's, it's huge in Utah. Um, it's good, kind of good and bad. Um, but, uh, yeah, network marketing is pretty big. Is network marketing a target audience for your product? Um, you know what? It depends. It depends on the uh, types of businesses there because, I mean, if, you know, if it's uh, – like some network marketing groups that I go to there, there's a lot of MLM members, you know, multi-level marketing, you know, sales representatives. Obviously those aren't the target audience of mine. I mean, the large MLM companies themselves, you know, the heads, yes, those are companies that we actually do a lot of business with. We do payments for some um, pretty good sized multi-level marketing companies, but the individual sales representatives themselves, I mean, obviously there's not, um, they're not, necessarily a great fit for our business, but you know, they're good to know and obviously network with because they know other individuals or maybe they have a product or service that someone I know may need. So still good to network with them, but they're, um, you know, there's, there's certain ones that are more MLM driven, I guess you could say, and we don't necessarily go to a lot of those ones or spend a lot of time there just because it's not our target audience. Right. So Diana, um, thank you so much for joining us from Spain. Um, I know you haven't quite started your business yet, but I was curious kind of what your steps are with your, with the business as you get, get started with it. Well, uh, joining groups like these, <laughs> for example, uh, uh, yeah, the thing I like about the, the networking festival, obviously it's global. You can, you can actually get in touch with people you would never be able to meet in person so that's a great thing about it um and for me yeah getting started is um i i found a mentor she's teaching me certain things now she she's um in the social media business content management and she's teaching me a lot of stuff right now so um you know that's one of my first steps joining different groups um also this networking group which is really helpful because it's motivating. It's just really great to get in touch with people that are actually already there. So it just pushes you forward and, and it keeps you going because you can see it's there, it's possible, and, and it's, it's great. It just gives you that, that push. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like how conducive the chat is to people networking and exchanging contact information without interrupting the conversation as a whole. Mm. And is the Facebook group, is everybody on the Facebook group and getting some value out of that as well? Obviously, yeah. Stephen, but we'll get him in. <laughs> I'm not on it yet, but I'm okay. So um, I thought it was really awesome that Stephanie posted um, an yes. article that she wrote. And uh, I know Chantel and I both read it. Um, I, I timed myself. It took me two and a half minutes to read the entire thing. So I, I know all of you have two and a half minutes to read the blog that she posted on Facebook. Um, and it's got some great tips and tricks on um, how to kind of stay focused while you're working. Uh, and I thought yeah. some of those tips were really valuable. 
So, yeah, you know, she's you. another way to support other members in the group. She did that kind of in response to the conversation that we had last week. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she's helping us and we can help her by um, contributing to that blog, maybe put some comments in the bottom for her. Um, be nice. So, you share it with your groups if you know yeah. people who have trouble concentrating, need help to stay focused for an hour or so. <laughs> Do yeah. you know anybody uh, like that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I frequently have to focus on high brain power tasks for an hour or more while insomniac. So these tips are very relevant to my life. <laughs> yeah, I could tell it was coming from a place of uh, experience. So that is all the time we have for the mastermind section. Thank you for contributing to that. Um, we just want to know how we can continue to evolve this group. We're, I think this is our sixth event. So yeah, we're still so. fairly new. Um, but it seems like it's resonating. It seems like it's uh, a little easier. Uh, you know, you don't have to sit in traffic. You don't have to worry about the waitress interrupting you while you're, you're in there. And, and we try to keep it dialed into just 45 minutes. So because we're all busy, we got, we got things to do. So there's no reason to stand around for an hour and uh, chit chat with people uh, when you can chat during the actual event. So you're actually getting uh, 90 minutes worth of time because you've got the 45 minutes of chat and the 45 minutes of the actual what's going on on the screen. Yeah, you're all multitasking. Also, exactly. <laughs> We're all doing it, right? And um, also the ability to be on location, right? So I was able to share the event that I was at today and Chantel was able to, to visit from her sick bed last week. And uh, we've had somebody visit from the doctor's office. So yep. <laughs> uh, it, it seems to be able to, to kind of go wherever you are. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Chantel for the announcements. <laughs> so um, let's see here. So we've got, uh, does anybody have announcements within the group that's still left? We had a couple of people that were needing to pop off anyway, so they just didn't rejoin. <laughs> you know, one no. thing we added to the, um, to the actual web page, so it's all pro web tools forward slash virtual. Um, and that's where we're posting all the links to the videos from the past uh, events, but we've also started to build out the schedule into the future. And I was actually able to contact a sales professional uh, who has uh, over half a million views on one of his videos on how to sell online. Uh, I've been following this guy for years and I actually used him uh, for training my sales team. And so I'm really excited he agreed to um, be in our April 6th group. So you'll see him on the schedule. Sure. Having fun getting professionals in here. We also talked yeah. about getting like a business lawyer uh, available for you guys to be able to ask questions. And so yeah, we're trying to make sure that we're bringing, uh, bringing other people into it. And of course, uh, feel free to let people know um, over around in your, your realm of uh, people that you know about virtual networking and get people involved. Of course, we want people that can offer things, you know, something that they can offer nationally. I think the only person we have that doesn't technically offer nationally is Amanda, but she's a destination location. People come to her from all over, so we make it work. <laughs> yeah. But, um, so other than um, having our schedule on there, I think that's it for the group announcements. Um, Steph and I'll make sure that we get connected on Facebook and we get that in there. And then if you guys think of any more things that you would like to see uh, us do with virtual networking, um, as that's rolling around in your head, feel free to put that into the uh, um, Facebook group as well. Will do. Cool. Well, it's good to see all of you. <laughs> good to see you guys too. Have a great week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and then uh, we do leave it open for another 15 minutes or so, so that it way if you guys wanted to continue any chats or any verbal conversation, um, throw more questions at Tim. If he's got a little bit of time, uh, we'll we have that up there for it. Well, I better pop off, so I wish you all a great week and I look forward to seeing you again. <laughs> See you, Stephanie. Thank you again. Yeah. I gotta go. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna jump off. I've gotta get to a meeting, but it was totally awesome. I'm like meeting all of you. Thanks for coming in on such short notice. We talked like a couple hours ago is when we met. So. <laughs> yeah, I know, absolutely. Stephanie's all right, awesome. well, thank you guys. Cool. Dave, it was a pleasure meeting you as well. I'd love to connect with you some other time when uh, you have the ability. Yeah, we'll get you two hooked up. Hey, hey, tell, my, you. tell my fellow nerds hello. <laughs>
Thanks. All right, see you guys. Have a good one.